Hello, Tom McGuire. I'm just going to review the fantastic book Exercised by Daniel Lieberman. Now, Daniel Lieberman has done a couple of other books. Um, I haven't read either of them yet, but when I do, I will be reviewing them and I will be reading at least one of them because I absolutely love this one. Exercise is a fantastic book. It's really good. I actually listened to the audio version on Audible. Um, I didn't read this one, but it was really, really enjoyable to listen to. Uh, the narration is fantastic. Um, probably some of the best narration that I've heard in, in an audio book and I've listened to quite a few over the years. As this channel is personal development, as we know. Um, I read as many books as possible around personal development and non-fiction um, and I kind of try and give you as much of the best advice possible from the world of personal development. I try and give you the most honest book reviews possible because I've got no interest in lying, no one's paying me to promote their books. Um, and basically I started doing this uh, channel to kind of practice my speaking skills in front of the camera, um, but also because I love reading so much, it's just a way for me to talk about it and kind of remind myself of some of the stuff that I've taken in, concrete some of the stuff in my mind. But also I want my kids to, be able to look back and sort of laugh at me and I want them to have an honest review about the books that I've read so that they can think about reading them as well themselves. So I'm obviously not going to lie to my kids, so you guys are going to get the truth from me as well. Sometimes that means people don't like it very much. People like to hear positive reviews all the time, but I will just tell you what I liked and what I didn't like. But I will say that this book is really good. So if you don't want to listen to any more of me yabbering on, then go out and buy exercise. It's really, really good. Really well informed, really well researched. Daniel Lieberman knows his stuff. Look him up, check him out. He's got the credentials that you could possibly need. Um, <clears throat> And it's just written in a really balanced sort of way. There's no kind of arrogance or anything. It's just really well put across information, I would say. Because exercise is one of those things, isn't it? That there's so much conflicting information out there and research over the years that we often don't know what we're supposed to do. I've always taken a fairly common sense approach and it turns out that his advice in this book is pretty much the way that I tend to see things. Um, he basically says that cardiovascular exercise is good for you. You don't have to be absolutely extreme and go and run marathons and triathlons and things. In fact, that can bring down your immune system, which I would have said is fairly common sense anyway, really. But regular cardiovascular exercise is good for you. He says that weights is good as well. He argues that cardiovascular exercise is probably better, but some weight training as well, he suggests, is good. Um, and he basically argues that sitting down isn't necessarily as dangerous as we kind of say. It's kind of this... It's We've been told recently that it's as bad for you as smoking, it's absolutely terrible. But actually the point he makes is it's terrible terrible because so many of us do it for so long without taking any exercise, without having any kind of physical activity. And with at the same time taking far too many calories from sugar and saturated fat and things like that. So if you're sedentary all day long and you're eating badly and you're eating too much, you're going to put on weight, you're going to get organ fat, you're going to cause yourself harm and you're going to have problems. His argument is that sitting is actually a very natural thing for human beings to do. We've been doing it for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. The reason we sat when we were hunter-gatherers was because we wanted to conserve our energy because we didn't have an abundance of food necessarily. We ate what we found and it was just enough. So we conserved our energy for most of the time and we sort of chatted in social groups, which was nice and healthy. But we walked for two or three hours a day trying to find food and trying to trying to kind of progress and do do those kind of normal natural things. So he basically argues that if you are stuck um, behind a desk, you're sat at a computer all day, try to do something called active sitting, try to move around a little bit, try to sort of do some leg exercises, try and get up and move around, get up to make a drink, get up to try not to sit for too long. He kind of argues that people who sit for hours and hours and hours at a time and just don't really move, that's that's kind of the danger. And he argues about the dangers from inflammation. You know, inflammation is caused when we're sedentary for too long. Exercise can kind of dispel and get rid of inflammation. So that that's really important. Um, really, really, just, ah, just a really interesting book. He, um, what does he say? He says, actually, yeah, something that I found really interesting, which I didn't realise was, there's been quite a lot of research to suggest that about seven hours is actually about right for human beings. Seven hours sleep, sorry. Um, I always thought it was more like eight or nine, but he reckons that actually there's been studies to suggest that people who slept much more than seven hours, eight hours plus, um, tended to have higher death rates than people who slept for about seven. So there might be other things that come into that. It might be the people who sleep seven hours just tend to be a bit more active. Maybe, I, I don't know. But it was interesting to hear that. Um, he talks about Neanderthals and, and how, you know, how fascinating, I find that sort of stuff really fascinating. He talks about how they had bigger bones, they were potentially stronger physically and things, how he descended from chimpanzees. And he talks about the chimpanzee Travis that attacked its owner. Never heard of that one before. Look it up. It's fairly horrible. 
chimpanzee that was kept as a pet and then one day someone took a toy off it and it turned around and basically scarred for life i think it was the owner potentially um but yeah just to kind of prove that actually you know you think they're kind of tame but actually no um he talks about uh, the metabolism and how we get afterburn after exercise so that once we've been weight training or doing cardio fairly intensively our muscles are still kind of buzzing and repairing and so our metabolism tends to be higher for quite a long time afterwards which can go some way to sort of burn calories and keep us healthier um he talks about a 507 year old clam that was found called ming which ironically was taken out of the sea by scientists and as i opened it to find out how old it was killed it so that was pretty tragic really but apparently there there, there could be many more clams that are many many years older but they reckon it's pretty accurate at about 507 years old. So I just find that fascinating. That thing's been alive in the sea for 507 years. He talks about uh, quite an interesting website I'd never heard of before called stick.com. And it's kind of this idea of punishment to try and motivate you. So he talks about how so many people aren't interested in exercise. They hate exercise. They're probably genetically predisposed <clears throat> to not enjoy exercise, some people. Um, and he says that there's this this uh, online place called stick.com where this woman, the example he gave, this woman um, paid them a £1,000, got her husband to um, keep her on top of things, and make her accountable, sorry, um, and she had to walk a certain number of miles each day, and if she didn't, he would let the website know and they would send $50 or $100 to the National Rifle Association who she absolutely hated so she basically said I'll be damned if I let any money go to them and she managed to walk the the miles that she agreed to every single day and once it came to an end she kept that habit up so it was kind of like this idea of you know we can use kind of motivation but we can also use the the stick instead of the carrot kind of thing so I thought that was quite an interesting idea um but yeah i'm not going to say too much more about it there's loads of detail in there it's really well really well put he doesn't like i say he doesn't come across as arrogant and stuff it's it's, it's really good um i forgot to say please like and subscribe please follow me on facebook at maguire total coaching.com sorry at maguire total coaching on facebook um i am i've got 100 subscribers at the minute so the first time i've hit 100 subscribers i don't really do anything to kind of get more subscribers other than just post videos really often so I'm pretty clue clueless when it comes to gaining more subscribers and things like that, but I've managed organically to get to about 100. So what I'm doing to celebrate that is I have a webinar on the 27th of October at 11 a.m., which is going to be about kind of building a powerful mindset and facing fear and kind of getting out of a job that you don't want to be in, starting business, that sort of stuff, mindset sort of stuff. There's not going to be any kind of selling you stuff on there. It's literally, that's why I charge for my webinars, because I'm not I'm not trying to sell you things and bring you into some kind of weird funnel um it is there to educate and to help people so for my subscribers it'll be five pounds it's normally 15 pounds to general members of the public there's only 20 spaces and they're filling up pretty quickly but if any of you want to go on there and have that for five pounds you're more than welcome get in touch with me tom at mcguiretc.com or message me on facebook at mcguire total coaching message me on here on the comments if you want to and we can sort that out but anyway thanks very much for listening love doing these reviews and i will speak again soon cheers <laughs>